this video I'm going to be talking about my hiking system while hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail. So if you missed the previous videos, um, I did multiple videos on my different systems I'm going to be using and I did have an overview video where I did mention um, my hiking system, which uh, I know that's kind of a generic term, but uh, what I mean by that is what I'm going to be using as I'm hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail. So what's going to be kind of like hanging on my pack versus inside my pack. So the first thing I'm going to be using, at least in the desert portion, is an umbrella. I know not everybody wants to use an umbrella, um, but I have actually used this a couple times while hiking and it uh, is, I, I think it's amazing. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sensitive to the sun, so um, when I was hiking and it was pretty hot out, I'd say it was about 80 degrees, um, it really, really kept me cool while I was hiking. Um, and this particular umbrella is by Gossamer Gear, um, and it's like a chrome color, so it reflects the sunlight. Um, and I, I haven't been able, or I haven't even really tried to affix it to my pack yet, so what I do when I'm hiking is I use one trekking pole in one hand and um, have the umbrella in the other open and hike like that, and then just switch off. Um, but I might figure out a way to affix it to my pack, maybe using Velcro or something. So anyway, um, this is one of my best purchases I've made so far um, for hiking and um, I have also heard and believe that um, in the desert portion obviously it gets very very hot um, and by using an umbrella people tend to not uh, consume as much water which is very very important. Um, that's something I'm actually pretty worried about on the trail is uh, running out of water so this gives me a little bit more peace of mind about that. And it's also very, very lightweight. I think it's eight ounces. So um, I'm not adding a ton of weight to my total base weight by carrying this. Okay, let's see. I'm also choosing to hike with a, um, uh, a it's called a through pack. So it's basically like a fanny pack and you keep it um, or affix it to your body underneath your hip belt of your pack. So this is, uh, I like the idea of this because you can fit probably a liter of more gear into this if you like stuff it. So I am probably going to be keeping a lot of my documents, my driver's license, money, that sort of thing. Um, more important things actually on my body in case somebody steals my pack or I lose it in a river or something. At least I have the essentials on my body um, because especially when you're when you're going across a river or something you're supposed to um, unhook your pack because that could take you down into the water so anyway um, I wouldn't have to unhook this probably so um, I also like that there's a zipper in the front and it is waterproof inside and there's an open part where you can put snacks and stuff because I will probably be snacking as I'm hiking um, so anyway this is called this is a through pack brand of like a, a hiker fanny pack and um, the waistband I got the more comfortable waistband. It's a little bit extra, but I think it's worth it. Okay, trekking poles. So I splurge on these trekking poles and um, the reason why is because, well, I I got together with somebody who hiked the Pacific Crest Trail and she did southbound and I, I was having a little bit of a hard time spending, I think these were $170 on trekking poles, but she made a good point where I'm going to be using these non-stop for five to six months uh, might as well spend on these versus some other pieces of equipment that I'm not going to be using pretty much every single day for hours and hours and hours so these are really really sturdy extremely lightweight um, and I've used them a couple times really easy to put together too and to break down so I really love these and um, very very durable so I really recommend these black diamond trekking poles and by the way all of the um, items I'm going over are linked below in the section below my video um, just to make it easier for you guys to click on the links and see the products um, so these are linked below let's see okay I have a deuce of spades trowel um, a lot of people use this on the Pacific Crest Trail really really lightweight what it is is it's to dig something called the cat hole so um, leave no trace is really important on the trail um, leaving the trail better than you found it or at least the same as you found it is important so um, when you go number two you need to uh, dig a hole six inches and make sure um, you go in that hole so this makes it easier to dig a six inch hole um, 
So Juice Face, uh, this is a really, really lightweight um, option if you want a trowel. Okay, safety wise, I have this, um, this knife that hangs on my neck and um, it's MTK uh, Knives, so that's the brand. And um, I've actually never used this before. I still have to kind of like figure out how to put <laughs> the necklace part together, but um, I've heard really great things about this. So I'm gonna test it out and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll probably just end up cutting cheese with it, but um, hopefully that's all. But um, we'll let you know how, how it goes and the weight and everything. I think it's, it's generally pretty lightweight, so um, I'm excited to use this. So this is a luxury item. I might end up sending it back, but I have a folding bucket at Sea to Summit. It's really, really lightweight. So what I want to use this for is to clean my feet at night, to maybe, um, probably not with soap, but just to kind of like rinse off some of my clothing items, maybe use it to wash my face sometimes. I just, I think it's a luxury item, but I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So I am bringing a lightweight folding bucket. Another luxury item, I'm bringing a little notepad. Um, I think it's really cute. It says field notes on it and a pen just to, I'm not really sure what, maybe write a little bit or um, I'm really into ceramics. So if I have any ideas um, on designs, maybe kind of sketch out a little design. So um, again, if I don't end up using it a lot, I will send it home, but for now I'm gonna bring it. Okay, and I also have a Pared down first aid kit so you can buy lightweight options at REI um, or an outdoor store and I also have to show you guys um, I took a wilderness first aid course and I really recommend it for folks who are going on longer backpacking trips um, so I have my wilderness first aid little um, handout of different things like burns and wound management just to kind of remind me um, how to take care of those ailments I also, which um, obviously I haven't opened this box yet, but um, waterproof matches. So um, I'm gonna bring those just in case I need them for some reason. But again, if I don't end up using them the first thousand miles, I might, or, or less, <laughs> uh, I might send them back. But I think it's important just the, the just in case situation where I might need them. I also have, just speaking of survival, um, an emergency blanket, which this is also really, really light. I carry this, um, live in California, so during, even when I go on a day hike, during the day it could be really hot, but then at night, it, the, the temperature swing is, is pretty large in California, so, um, and that's where a lot of the trail is. So um, I am gonna bring an emergency blanket, just in case um, something happens and it gets really, really cold. <laughs> Just gives me peace of mind, I guess, and I do take it on day hikes as well when I'm hiking around the area. I'm gonna bring some rope. Um, I'm not gonna bring this much. <laughs> I still need to cut it down, um, just so if I need to hang my food at any point, I can do that. Um, and as an alternative, um, a friend gave me this bracelet, and it also has rope twined around it. So um, I could also use this. I just need to make sure I can undo it um, rather quickly and do it again it looks like it's braided so I need to um, research that but I'm gonna be bringing this as well last thing is my headlamp so this is a black diamond spot light headlamp I had a black diamond just normal spot um, but that takes three uh, batteries and this only takes two so just to save a little bit of weight it was $26 at REI you might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else but um, I thought uh, it was a little it was worth it to save some weight by carrying less batteries and this is a lot lighter as well so black diamond spotlight for my headlamp one more piece of gear that I want to mention um, is my sits pad so I've been sitting on this for all the gear videos I've been doing but um, this is uh, one of my favorite things that I purchased for hiking in general really um, it's a Therma Rest Z seat and I think it was $12 um, on Amazon or REI but it it's really beneficial because sitting on rocks and sitting on the ground gets old after a while so um, this is really wonderful if the ground's wet or if you just don't want to sit on a cold rock you can throw this down sit on it um, 
and it's, it's actually really, really comfortable. So I had to mention this seat pad as well. A couple other items that I'm going to be um, bringing are actually I'm going to be sending to myself because I'm not going to be using them for the whole trail um, are there's three things so the first thing um, for cold weather and I put a sock around this because I don't want to impale myself but a uh, ice axe so this is a Camp USA ice axe it's really really lightweight um, I know this is going to be a high snow year so I think it's important to have the proper gear so what this does is a lot of mountaineers use ice axes to pull themselves up a mountain or something like that but this is a lighter version um, for people who are just through hiking and just only for the purpose to self arrest so if I would fall um, and if there was like a slope to my right I would fall and dig this in and self arrest so I wouldn't slide further uh, so this is really a good tool for that and I'm probably gonna put some sort of um, cord on it so I can put it fix it to I'm not really sure <laughs> um, my wrist or something but uh, anyway this is a really lightweight option for ice axe to self arrest if you're in the snow and um, you find yourself sliding <laughs> also going to bring micro spikes so what these do is you um, put them around your shoe and there's little spikes at the bottom so when you're hiking through snow uh, you won't slip and slide as much because these will dig into the snow. So these are important if you're hiking um, in snowy conditions. And you can also get crampons, which are, I think, um, a little bit more expensive, but um, I've heard those work really well too. Last thing I'm going to send to myself in the Sierra um, is a head net. So this is Sea to Summit and really, really lightweight, obviously. It's just a net but um, it's something I can just put around my head so the mosquitoes don't eat me alive. Um, so anyway, that is my whole hiking system for hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And um, I also have everything linked um, in the section below this video.